Hello, hello. Okay, okay. Well, now it's working. I'm sorry. I something happened with my mic. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry about that. Okay. All right. Well, hopefully it'll get a little bit better. <laughs> now I have this weird thing sticking above me. Oh man. Okay. Well, aside from that, um, thank you so much for joining. So anyway, remember how I was saying that I had this weird you know, sad looking tomatoes. So this is what I mean. This is proof. Like, just look how sad this is. Like these tomatoes are supposed to be a lot larger. They're supposed to be like, you know, closer and clumped together. There are a couple missing. Oh, there's one missing here. There's one missing here. But other than that, like they're just so like spread far apart. Like it just looks sad. This just makes me sad. <laughs> so anyway, um, I don't know why that happened. You know, like I was saying, I think I blame the air quality. I blame, I don't know, we had like a really, um, like a week of really hot weather, like no rain or anything like that. So I think all of that just like, yeah, really like freaked out my tomatoes for some reason. So anyway, I apologize for the sound. Thank you for being patient and joining me. Anyway, so here is, yeah, the sad tomato. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's okay. Well, let's go ahead and get started with our breathing exercise. And then I want to actually talk a little bit more about my upcoming shop before I start painting. So, you know, just bear with me. Okay. But let's go ahead and do our breathing exercise. And if you're joining me for the first time, um, all we, all we do is just kind of put ourselves in a posture of openness and we have our palms facing up either on the table or on your lap, wherever it feels comfortable. And then we breathe in through our noses and out through our mouths and you can open your eyes or close them, whatever feels comfortable for you. So let's do that for a moment. bring us back together so thanks again for joining um if you're not too shy please say hi in the chat i love to interact and we've kind of gotten to sort of know each other too so you can say hi to the other people in the chat who are watching right now and if you're catching the replay just write in the comments say hello you know just comment what you you know like or what you have questions about anything like that so hi linda hi rena Yes. Hi. Thank you so much for joining. So like I said, before I go into painting the sad tomato, <laughs> I'm sorry. Like it just, it just cracks me up. Like, I, I mean, I am like actually genuinely sad that I haven't been able to eat as many cherry tomatoes. Like I remember a couple years, like I would be eating like 20 a day. I don't know if that's good or not, but I would be eating a ton a day. Cause that's how much I was, um, yeah, like harvesting. And then I would cook with it almost every single day. I would have it for breakfast, sometimes lunch, sometimes also dinner. You know, I would just, yeah. Anyway, so I, I am sad. It looks sad, but I'm also sad. <laughs> anyway, so I want to talk a little bit about my shop. And I, I, th I think I teased this last time and um, I've been furiously working at it. So I'm really excited to show you. It hasn't, I mean, the technically the shop is live, but um, I'm not um, like, I'm not like publicizing it right now, but I do want to give you guys a sneak peek because you guys are the best. <laughs> and, you know, just in case you're curious. Okay. So here we go. Mm -mm -mm, where is it? There it is. 
Oh, no, now you're watching me. <laughs> okay, so here is the shop. And yeah, I'm like really excited. It's, um, hold on a second, let me just expand this a little bit. Okay, so here is the shop and just when you first come on like there's just a lot of like um like there's a lot of items on here and i hope that it'll be um, like something that you guys like so right now i'm offering art prints stickers and greeting cards so if you kind of come off to the left here you can find you know some more um some more like navigation links um, so for now we'll just go to shop all and so yeah like most of my art prints and the paintings and the cards and stuff like that are all going to be you know I, I feel like they're priced reasonably um, so yeah and you and you'll notice hey look here's the banana painting remember this one ah so this was from day 50 as you can see here i also mentioned it <laughs> so yeah i also even um got some more of the fruit patterns i know some of you guys were saying that you wanted to um yeah check them out so i put some of those like on one you know art print um and sometimes they'll have its own art print too so one of my favorites was the oranges i know it was a favorite for a lot of people so here it is in art print form so yeah, I'm still working on like, you know, getting more greeting cards and stuff like that. But let me know in the comments, like, what do you think about like cute little comments like that, or not comments, like puns or sayings like this, like life is sweet. Um, or this one says, don't worry. <laughs> like I like cute things like that. Most of these cards are blank. Um, you know, just because then you can use them for whatever occasion you want to use it for, right? Um, I have some really old paintings, like this French press. I actually made this digitally. So let me zoom in just a little bit. So I made this digitally and um, yeah, I probably made this maybe four or five years ago now almost. And it's just so cute. Like I just, like I actually don't even use a French press, but like I, I just love the shapes the colors it's just really cute so yeah so I do have some really old stuff in here but most of these paintings are either from the last three years or so or very recent um something else that I also love to do and create and sell are actually stickers so um right now all I have are the ones that are just um, line drawings and again these I've done a while ago and I actually used to sell these in my old shop so I'm just kind of like resurrecting them <laughs> and bringing them back um, and just rebranding them but yeah they're like really small these sticker sheets are four inches by six inches and they're perfect for like your planners your journals um, obviously to seal an envelope with um, they are waterproof so you can um, you can actually, you know, put them on water bottles and stuff. However, they're not scratch resistant. So if you want scratch resistance protection, then you have to add that. And that's just an, an additional cost. Um, so you can just choose that option there. Okay. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's like really, like, it's like really fun. Like I love making stuff that'll help people smile, <laughs> you know, and this is just one of those things. So yeah, I will definitely share the link later and um, I hope you guys really like it. And um, yeah, please tell your friends. I hope to um, yeah have a piece of my artwork in your home. I would be absolutely honored. Um, yeah. Oh, here's another uh, one that was from the live streams of Miracold. So yeah, I'm just really excited because, um, you know, like it's been a long time since I've actually had a shop. And, um, and I think like there are moments where I feel like, why should I have a shop? You know, like what's the point or, um, yeah, I don't know. I think I just felt like it would be too much work or something, but I'm slowly coming back around to it. Um, and I think it's, I, I think that, um, okay, hold on a second. Let me read some of your comments. Okay. Um, yeah, I think 
I think one of the things that really stop artists, especially those who have a business, is that we tend to um, doubt whether anyone will like it, you know, <laughs> or we're scared to put our work out there. Um, and so I think I was kind of struggling with that. I'm just being honest, you know, I think I was struggling with like, um, like, is my artwork unique enough? You know, is it like reflecting who I am and my voice? And I think you guys, after six years, seven years, I think it finally does. <laughs> Or, 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 or maybe I've just, or maybe my confidence has just caught up with my fears. <laughs> I don't know which it is, but, um, this time, like, I'm, I mean, I've loved my shop every time I've launched it, but I think this time, I, I don't know. I feel a little bit more confident. That's, that's really all I can say. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay, let me read your comments again. Okay, yay! I'm so glad you guys are excited. Yes, I love the oranges too. Uh-huh. Uh the mat. Um uh, mat for the stickers, I'm assuming, Rena. Yes. The so so the what so actually let me show you an example. Oh, I printed one today. So yeah, so this is what it looks like. Let me just show you the overhead real quick. So um, the paper is matte, so you can see there's no gloss or anything like that. Um, they are thin, um, but these are waterproof. And then so if you get the scratch, scratch proof protection, then it's going to have like a vinyl on top of it. And that will, you know, prevent it from being scratched. So if I were to actually, you know, uh, scratch it off right now, I could. So you don't want to do that. But if you're just using these on like journals or planners or envelopes, you don't need the scratch proof resistance, you know, but it's really for if you're going to put it on water bottles, if you're going to put it on your kids stuff, you know, then you really want that scratch proof stuff. So Anyway, yeah, so there's no gloss, it's matte. So there you go. Um, all right. So thank you so much. I hope you guys like them. This is again one of the stickers. And I did print one of the cards, but I don't remember where I put it. It's yeah, I'm just doing some test runs and things like that. So everything is going to be printed, you know, hand hand cut hand everything handmade by me and so i hope you guys will um yeah really enjoy what i'm putting out there and you know tell please tell other people about it too if they're looking for like charming or whimsical or elegant pieces i think that's kind of how i describe my work <laughs> anyway all right ah <sighs> Well, that is that. Let's get into painting now then. So I did kind of sketch out my painting already. And again, here's my sad tomato. <laughs> oh no, and then one of them fell. See, and then this one has like, has like a little, I don't know, maybe a worm got into it or something. So it's like falling apart already. Anyway, all right, let me zoom in a bit and then let me fix my focus. Okay. All right. Well, I hope you guys have a good time creating. I will see you in a little bit. Um, let me know in the chat what you're working on. Or if you're catching the replay, let me know what you created or what you like about my painting so far. So thank you guys. I'll see you in a little bit.
Hey, how's everyone doing? <laughs> Hi. All right. Well, if you're still finishing up, that's okay. I just kind of wanted to read up on some of the comments that you made about my shop. So, um, oh, Rena. Okay. I hope you can retry your shop too. Definitely. I think that's really important. You know, like I said, this is probably my third time relaunching my shop and you know, I, yeah, I mean, both times I stopped because like there was just low demand or I remember one time, like, um, I think I mentioned this last time, but it was like really slowing down my website. So yeah, that time I just couldn't, you know, control it. But yeah, I hope you have the courage to retry too. I think it's worth putting your stuff out there. Obviously there's a, you know, there's a business side to it where you have to market it properly and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, there are people out there who are fans of your work. You know, you might, you might not know them just yet, you know, but it's important to try and connect with them and then, um, yeah, just share your joy through art. So I hope you get to retry as well. Um, all right. Oh, hi, Sherry. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. I appreciate, um, yeah, art cards over Hallmark. I mean, yeah, no shade to the people at Hallmark. And, you know, there are artists who also design for Hallmark. That's for sure. Um, I'm just not one of those people. And, you know, like maybe I will license my work. I don't know yet. You know, I'm not there right now. I don't have an agent or anything like that. But, you know, I think, yeah, there is something to be said about, yeah, just like handmade cards. And again, mine are just very simple. They're just going to be printed on cardstock paper. And, um, but it's like my original illustrations, you know? And so, yeah, I am more on like the minimal side. And so my cards are very simple, but I hope you like them. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's see. Um, okay. So Rita, you're working on the prompt curiosity. Hmm. Unslumps unslump sketchbook summer challenge that is a mouthful <laughs> but that's so awesome inspired by a mimosa tree i didn't even know that mimosa tree is a real thing wow linda fi finishing your daily watercolor prompts yeah so yeah july is world watercolor month in case you didn't know just a few more days i haven't been following the prompts at all obviously i've been doing my own thing <laughs> but that's okay um Thank you so much. All right. Well, I am just about done with my tomatoes. I am loving this. This is, this is like so cute. It makes me so sad that like, you know what? I will eat one of these and then I'll tell you how it tastes. So here we go. Let's see. I'll choose the most ripe looking one. Okay. This one looks pretty ripe. All right. So here we go. All right. Don't make fun of me if I make a weird face because it tastes bad. So here we go. <laughs> I'm trying to describe like it's not as juicy as I was expecting the texture was a little bit mealy that was so weird let me try it again like I'm used to my cherry tomatoes I mean granted I did buy a slightly different variety this year and then again with all the crazy weather I don't know if that affected its um its taste oh that one was terrible. That one was really terrible. Oh gosh. I hope this next one is, is better because this is the last one I'm going to eat. Oh no. All right, here we go. Okay. The taste is better. But like I said, the texture is just so weird. It's like, it's like a little bit grainy and mealy. I mean, it's not rotten. It's not like that. It's just, I'm more used to it like being juicy. And so, yeah, it's just a weird texture. Oh, okay. Not a fan. Not a fan. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's go ahead and wash out our brush and then call it an evening. <laughs> Hopefully your cherry tomatoes taste better than mine. There we go. And exhale. All right, and 
let's say an affirmation or two for our paintings and be proud of yourself that you showed up today you deserve an a <laughs> okay So here we go. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you guys are the best. <laughs> Sherry, simple but authentic. I, I really appreciate that. I really do. Um, yes, you're welcome, Rena. Thank you, Linda. Painted tomatoes look yummy. I know these are so much better than the tomatoes I just ate. <laughs> oh my god. I still can't believe I ate that live. Oh, and showed you my oh, face. <laughs> anyway. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. Happy Friday. Um, next week is a new month. Wait, yeah, next week is a new month. So I haven't released the August schedule yet, but I will. Uh, but right now it looks like I might be, so I will definitely be live on Monday, which is also National Avocado Day. I'm not gonna paint avocados though, since I already did that. <laughs> um, but I'll be live next Monday and thursday only hmm, i know <laughs> next week is kind of busy i have um i have a i have a workshop on wednesday tuesday i have some dinner plans and then thir uh, friday and saturday i'll be at a um at a conference so yeah thank you so much for joining you guys really are the best um I don't want to say bye yet. <laughs> I just feel like hanging out with you guys some more. But it is the weekend, so I hope you have fun. And um, yeah, thank you so much again for joining. You deserve to treat your creative self. So have a good night. Enjoy. And I'll see you next week.